the advantages for Flyjet doing it. Uh, it's very, very focused on the business. It's used the pre seen material to talk about, um, I'm going to say occupancy again, whatever it was, it's 86%. Um, and, and that's a, an application of business skills, and this would earn two marks. So it's going to be something that really gives you an idea of how uh, the skills are applied, the competencies are tested, uh, and the, the process of integration uh, is, is taking place. All right? So that's one that, that we will be alerting people to when it's available. Um, yeah, the, obviously the, the, the first case study exams are going to be in, in February, so you know there's plenty of time you know, to, to start looking at that. I don't think anyone's going to be delving into these just now. Most people, I assume, have got November exams coming up. Yeah? And um, yeah, none of this should really panic you. Quick word, if you are doing November exams, you will have confirmation coming to you very, very soon that the results of the November exams are going to be published and made available to you on the 18th of December. All right, so that's when you'll know what you might be doing in 2015, if anything at all. Well, you'll be doing something in 2015, completing your practical experience requirements is a very minimum. Uh, applying for membership or doing some more exams, right? <laughs> Whichever way it's going to work. Now it's just just one that's hot off the press. Uh, yeah. Now I've come beyond my allotted time, but I don't know place else to be. So if there's any questions that people want to ask about the case studies, I'll find the answers here. Yes. Oh, when is the result going to come out? That's a very good question. Uh, the result will be within five weeks of the, the final day of the window. So you imagine you know, that this particular variant will be available and, and, and taken on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we'll have to get all of those together into one pile things up on, on, on emails or whatever uh, and then one pile they all both get marked and set against each other uh, the, the, the marking process involves making sure that no variant is advantageous or disadvantageous so we have to look at the second one the third one fourth one do a sort of moderation process um, and I say that is that is going to take I was just actually wondering we got there was a meeting back in London yesterday that was supposed to be finalizing the exact date as to whether it's four weeks or five weeks, it will be within five weeks. All right? So that's uh, cracking, cracking things on. Is there anything else? Yeah. And back to the objective testing, I yeah. just wonder if I only got half the questions correct. For example, they asked you to three two fields, I only got one of it correct. So how marks will be given? Uh, you it, it, in the question where you have to get you know so, so on that trial balance one I had to yeah. put in a revaluation opening yeah. balance and a movement or something like that. I have to get both of them the right it's all or nothing so you, there's no half marks because the idea is that you've got to know the topic you've got to know the, the learning outcome uh, and, and again you know, imagine yourself in a place of work where you put in the correct opening balance and the wrong adjustment, and you go to your boss and say, "Look, I've half it, right? You know, I've just, I've just sold the company based on the numbers you gave me. <laughs> half of them were wrong, right? You know? So that's not. Yeah, that's, it's the same with, with all of it. You have, if there's three things to spot, you have to have all three. Only two being correct is no marks. No, you, you obtain, you know, the sequence for answering this is you go through as it takes you because remember this is one week later. So you can you can you couldn't do this before doing task number one because it's one week later. And then the next task is going to be later still. So you can't um, yeah, you, you, you can't 
do you can't do that, right? Follows into the, the so here's stuff about redundancies. Um, you know, if you knew that when you were talking about strategic analysis or or anything else, then that would change the way in which you answered that question. So you've got to go with this. You can there's no there's no navigation that you can do this. And another point, just very quickly, was I moved on from task two. I didn't look at the clock, but let's say it had 20 minutes remaining. All right? I don't gain time anywhere else. Instead of my exam taking three hours, it's now going to take two hours and 40 minutes because I've cut 20 minutes off. All right? So again, it's, imagine that at work. Somebody says, look, I've got a meeting in 45 minutes time. I need you to do this. And you say, well, the last thing you asked me to do, I did it 20 minutes early. So how about we call it an hour for this? You can't do that. Yeah? So the technology doesn't allow you to do it, and there's a good logic as to, to why we start with that. Sorry? You can't do, you can't do tables. And that, again, when you look at the type of questions that you're being asked, prepare me a report. Um, yeah, and the, 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 the most you can do with formatting, there's not even tabs that you can do, do gaps within, within paragraphs, but it's, uh, I need you to evaluate this. how should the board approach the negotiation? So, so how should they approach negotiation? There might be a step-by-step -step thing. So yes, I'll, I'll use uh, paragraph separators, but I, there's no bullet points, there's nothing in there. Um, yes, you might be able to imagine how something could go into a table. I don't think anything out of the three tasks that I've looked at here, but if we looked at others. But no, it's, it's not one of the functions in there. Again, I know it's not difficult. Well, if you've done tables, I do tables all the time. So I don't find it difficult. But somebody else might say, well, I don't want to be asked to do a table because I've never done tables or processing. Yeah? So that, that would disadvantage people to say. I, I just just one last thing about this this typing and how we present things. It, it's been uh, there's been quite a few questions that come through, sort of Facebook questions and so on. But actually, it was on Facebook. It's quite funny because somebody said, "I am no good at typing. How can I do this exam?" And I said, "Well, how did you get the words on the screen to me then?" <laughs> To be fair, the guy probably, or I think it was a guy, had probably been using a smartphone and was just using thumbs only, but that was my, that was my, my response to that. But, but in, in broader terms, and it, this is going to sound very, very cheeky, so I apologise in advance, but um, I, I've, I've had 20 odd years of listening to examiners after exams saying, do you know the problem with students and what they present to us? Their handwriting is atrocious, right? So when people say, oh, my typing's not very good, I, I, I say back, well, without getting personal, the examiners think that your handwriting is even worse. <laughs> At least when you put a letter in here, it may be the wrong one, but it's legible, right? <laughs> so, um, so again, you know, so I just want to reassure people that this is not uh, something that, that you know, is going to reward you just because you're a better typist. The content is all that matters. Yes, if you do practice with typing uh, and, and, and you're a little bit better at touch typing, you'll get your ideas down quicker. But if you start putting too many ideas in, you're swamping this and you're not making good uh, business and, and people skills uh, show through. Okay? Right. One more question. Sorry? Sorry, I missed the start of your question. How about the working? The workings? Well, you're not doing big calculations in there. You're not, you're not going to do a net present value analysis. That's too big. It, 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 it will not be in there to do net present value. I say that the most that you might be doing in there is uh, here, negotiation with unit rent. I might, I might want to work out the potential redundancy cost. If there's information in the pre scene about how many staff have got, how much they're paid as their salary, I might want to do a quick calculation to say, you know, potential, the potential redundancy costs are X thousand uh, dollars. And I put in a bracket just saying 100 people, average salary, 
paying them six months salary of redundancy costs, something like that. So, so I just, you know, so I'm not going to be doing big workings that need tables or column after column after column. It's going to be the quick little bits here in the odd ratio or something. All right. Yes. I will be having my KP assessment next year in May around that time, and my varsity is allowed to claim exemptions yeah. from those two levels. Mm -hmm. I would, I'm just wondering, is this similar to the KP assessment? This will be the gateway assessment. The management level case study uh, is the gateway assessment and vice versa. It's just on the front screen it will call it the gateway assessment. But you'll have the same pre-scene, you will have one of five of the variants that the management students are doing. So basically it's just the exactly same. the same principles, the same thing. Different. Yeah, it have a different name. I, I, I imagine, and I'm, I'm not sure because I'm not in the exams department, I imagine that your script will go in with the script of SEMA students doing management and there may be a difference, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, would that be provided any additional scratch edges in case if I would need more scratch edges? I mean, like, for example... No, you, the, you, you, you've... You, I'd say you, the, the one, if you, if you go into the tutorial, pop open it, and it's... The, the scratch pad is, is um, you know, like the never-ending screen. The, the actual electronic scratch pad. And it's there permanently throughout the exam. So you'd just be going... You know, you'd have that for however long you can do it, yeah? And it just keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going. It doesn't have any of the formatting stuff, but when you get, you know, when you get down here, you, it just keeps on going. And so, so you can keep that all the way through. What about the next one? This one, well, there's 10 pages on it. I mean, that's probably more than I would write in a real exam. <laughs> <laughs> given that that's just for my thoughts and ideas. Um, you know, I, 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 I would worry if somebody were filling 10 pages of this in the exam because that's an awful lot of time when these ideas should be getting transferred into the answer screen. All right, so I think there's enough. And of course, when you've done one task, you don't need, you know, I don't need any of my thoughts on activity based, so I can just <laughs> Check that hadn't been used. Uh, explain why my shirt is covered in ink. Uh, yeah, so so it's. I think there's there's going to be more than enough. In okay. Right. Okay. So there's uh, no more questions at this point in time. But if you do, you can always uh, actually get back to us, and then you can actually chat with Peter. Let you get your. Uh, Okay, so um, thank you very much for your attendance, and uh, Peter, thank you very much for a very informative session. Can we give a chance to your... Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we come to an end. So, but before that, I just feel like I need to just a bit of housekeeping rules. It's like, you know, uh, there's this questionnaire that we really hope that you can feedback to give us a better idea on certain activities that we need to carry out for you. For example, the revision classes for next year, preparatory classes. You know, we just want to know when you feel is a good time and there's other areas as well to see how we could assist you. So we hope you can actually complete this and uh, pass it before you go back. And okay, another thing, uh, I understand that there's a couple of you who just, you know, probably we have your contact details with us, but if you've not taken the, you know, the, have not registered or, you know, your attendance, we appreciate if you could do so because sometimes we have updates, we want to send updates to you as well. Okay, and last but not least, I know, uh, just a show of hands, I mean, how many of you are actually university students at present? Please, can I? Okay, so, okay, great. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I have a colleague here, Edie, who will be talking a bit.